hi everyone welcome once again in today's video i'm going to be taking us through one of the scenarios that you can have in your assessment station so i'm going to be using the patient health questionnaire chart all right so remember your assessment station is 20 minutes okay and this 20 minutes your reading time is included all right so you have to learn how to manage your time very well so for this type of scenario you're going to be needing your news chart as well as your patient's health questionnaire chart your phq9 chart is going to come with you so all you need to do is to sum up all the scores and then you tell your patient their score and whatever interpretation whatever intervention they will be needing you're going to be telling the patient as well okay so your assessor can tell you that you should assume that all the pre-checks has been done so if you want to go by that way you just repeat after your assessor, assuming all the pre-checks has been done, then you go ahead to perform your hand hygiene. However, even if you start from your sense safety, you're not going to pen be penalized, okay? So, come on out. Let's meet our patient. So, I check for sense safety. I can see my scene is safe for me to approach. I draw the curtain and close the window to maintain my patient privacy and dignity. I put an ampoule of gel in my hand and I'm going to be doing my hand hygiene using the same step technique of WHO but for hand hygiene, okay? So, I rub palm to palm, palm to the back of my hands, vice versa, fingers interlocked, vice versa, fingers interlaced with palm to palm. My fingertips in rotational manner, vice versa. My tongue in rotational manner, vice versa. My wrist in rotational manner, vice versa. And I allow my hands to air dry for 30 seconds. Now my hands are dry. I'm happy to approach my patient. Hello, good morning. Good morning. My name is Funke and I'll be your nurse for today. I'm here to carry out an assessment on you using the A to E approach. And I've got this PHQ9 chart with me as well, the patient health questionnaire chart. I know it's been pre-filled, uh, but I'll still be asking you some few questions as regards that. Is that okay by you? Yes, nurse. Oh, that's fine. Well, so before we go on, can you please tell me your full name and your date of birth as I cross check with the documents in my hand? Um, my name is Barry Collins and I was born on the 9th of December, 1962. Oh, beautiful. Can you please tell me your address? 44 Red Kite Lane, Winchester. Oh, that's fine. And that's the same with my the document I have in my hand as well. Uh, is it okay if I call you Barry? Yes, nurse. Oh, that's good. Um, Barry, do you have any allergies at all? Um, I'm allergic to NSAIDs. Oh, so sorry to hear about that. So what happens when you take NZ? Um, it makes me breathless. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I want to assure you will not give you anything that contains NZ while you're under our care. Is that okay? Yes, yes. Oh, beautiful. Um, how long have you been resting, if I may ask? Um, for a while now. Oh, yes. that's good to know. Can you hear me well? Can you see me clearly? Yes, yes. Oh, that's good. And, uh, Barry, are you comfortable? Are you in any pain at all? Um, I'm not in any pain, but I'm a bit breathless. Oh, so sorry to hear about that. I can see you are sitting upright already. Uh, do you mind taking a deep breath through your nose and breathe out through your mouth for me, please? Done, nurse. Oh, good. And how does that feel? Do you feel better? Yes, nurse. Oh, that's good to know. So I'm not going to be escalating that for now. But if you become breathless again, please do let me know. And then I think about as well. Try to take deep uh breath as well is going to help is that okay yes yeah. all right so i'm just going to be getting the equipment that i'll be needing for your observations if you need anything just give me a shout is that okay yes yeah. all right so i'm going to be performing my hand hygiene again following the seven step technique of hand hygiene by who so i put an ampoule of gel in my hand Alright, so I'm going to be done in my hip run. And my glove. As I saw, could you please confirm that these equipment are, cal are calibrated and they are safe for use? Yes. Oh, good. Thank you. Hi, Barry. I'm back. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to be starting with your blood pressure. Is it okay if I use this left hand to check your blood pressure? Yes. Yeah. All right. So I'm just examining your hand, Barry. I can see no edema, no skin lesion. There is no rashes, no inflammation. I'm happy to, and I'm happy to use this hand. So I've got the right side of cough. So I'm going to be wrapping this cough two to three centimeters. 
above your anticubital fossa and i ensure it covers 80 percent of your upper ham i ensure it's not too tight neither is too loose um so barry once i inflate this cough you feel some tightness but as soon as it starts to deflate you wouldn't feel it anymore is that okay yes ma oh that's fine all right so i'm going to start that now um barry i'm going to be using your right hand to check your capillary refill and your oxygen saturation is that fine yes ma'am good thank you all right so i can see i'm checking your fingernails no nail polish no um artificial nails so i'm happy i'm going to be using this middle finger and i'm going to be pressing the nail bed for five seconds five four three two one i can see your capillary refill back in less than two seconds which is fine so I'm, i'll be checking your oxygen saturation now i'll put the pulse oximeter i'm going to be putting it on this middle finger to check your oxygen saturation okay so that's done now um yeah the blood pressure reading is ready as well so i'm going to be unwrapping the cuff now uh, barry i'm just going to be silent for two minutes and i want you to be silent for two minutes as well as i count your heart rate is that okay yes all right so i'm trying to locate the radial pulse you have located that uh, as i saw my time starts now All right, so I assume it's two minutes already. Uh, Barry, I'm done counting your heart rate. So I counted your heart rate for one full minute, but I also counted your respiratory rate for another one full minute. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you. Um, I didn't want you to be anxious because that could alter the reading. Hope you don't mind, Barry. I don't mind. Barry. Oh, thank you so much for that, Barry. All right, so I'm going to be checking your temperature now. I got this infrared thermometer. I'm going to be po pointing it on your forehead, and then you hear a bleep sound i can see your forehead is not sweaty so i point, point the infrared thermometer all right so that's done now uh I'm, I'm done carrying out all the observations on you barry so i'll be talking about the a to e with your hairway i can see that you can make a full sentence uh barry do you mind giving me a call please <coughs> oh beautiful i can see there is no obstruction so i'm happy with your airway and with your breathing i counted your respiratory rate for one full minute noting the rate the depth and the rhythm of your rate and it was absolutely fine your respiratory rate was 19 breaths per minute which is fine and uh, i noticed there is equal rise and fall of your chest as well on both sides and there is no use of accessory muscles i couldn't hear any abnormal sounds which is absolutely fine so with your breathing i'm happy i also check your saturation your oxygen saturation was 98 percent which is within normal range and that is fine as well uh, though you did tell me that you were a bit breathless and uh, we did some deep breathing exercise but don't forget if you still feel breathless uh do let me know is that okay yes sir. okay that's fine so with the circulation i checked your blood pressure and it was 154 over 70 millimeter of mercury which is within normal range and your heart rate accounted for one full minute and it was 19 beats per minute i noted the rate the rhythm and the strength and it was actually regular which is fine as well okay and i check your capillary refill and it's less than two seconds so everything about your circulation i'm happy with it for now okay uh moving to disability i can see that you are a lot if i may have to last did you have a wee barry um not so long ago oh beautiful and as i saw can you tell me my patient blood glucose level oh within therapeutic range all right thank you very much um do you mind wiggling your fingers for me please just Done. wiggle oh that's beautiful thank you so much barry i'm happy with the uh d as well so moving to here i check your temperature and it was 36.4 degrees celsius which is within normal range and i can see on the exposed birth i can't see any wound no injury uh do you mind um confirming do you have any wound or any injury on the honest postcard no no oh that's good to know with your past medical history i can see you have depression anxiety and multiple chest infections is there any other past medical history you'd like me to know of um, no no okay thank you very much all right so barry i like i said earlier i've got this uh, patient health questionnaire chart 
and um can you confirm you know about the chat barry yes yeah. oh that's beautiful all right so if i may ask is it that you have poor appetite or you are overeating i have poor appetite oh no bless you so sorry to hear about that um i just want to encourage you to take small meal at frequent intervals and as much as possible will make your meal attractive as well and if you don't mind uh will be i'll be referring you to the dietitian for further plan of care is that okay by you yes yeah. oh beautiful and i can see here that you feel bad about yourself although you are a failure or that you have let yourself or your family down i don't want you to be too hard on yourself i can understand that since you had your the injury on your back uh last year you struggled to get back to work and it's been difficult i can understand barry but it wasn't your fault sweetheart so i don't want you to be too hard on yourself okay you are in safe ends and i'm going to be referring you to the social worker as well as the occupational therapist for further plan of care is that okay yes yes all right and um um, I can see that you have thought that you will be better off dead or of hurting yourself in some way. You don't have to do that. I, I know it's a hard time. I know it's difficult. Okay. But I know you've got your family. Remember, you've got your loved ones. They love you, Barry. Okay. And um, I'm going to be referring you to the psychotherapist and the mental health team for further plan of care. Is that okay? Yes. yes. All right. And um, we've got some games as well in the care home. Try to participate in some of those games and then um there's some recreational activities in the community as well that you can get yourself involved in if that would help is that okay mm. all right okay all right so um barry i'm done uh with this chat for now so i'm going to be stepping aside just to go and document on them and get your score and i'll come back to tell you whatever your score uh, is underneath the intervention as well is that okay yeah all right so you got your bolsa so if you need anything just press the bolsa and i'll be right here to attend to you is that okay yeah. all yeah. right so i'm going to be removing my apron and my gloves in the clinical waiting and i perform my hand hygiene following the seven step technique of hand hygiene by who put an ample of gel in my hand Okay, so I will start with the new chart first. So Barry's respiratory rate is 19. I put 19 in the box in front of 18 to 20. That gave us a score of zero. The oxygen saturation is 98%. So I write 98% in the box in front of greater than 96. And that gives us zero as well. Um, Dry is on air. So I write capital letter A and that's a score of zero. For the blood pressure, 154 over 70 millimeter of mercury. So the systolic of 154, I write it, put an arrow, draw a line down to systolic and to diastolic of 70. Okay, and that's a score of zero as I'm scoring only the systolic. For the blood pressure, 90, I write 90 in the box in front of 81 to 90, and that's a score of zero. And for the consciousness, of course. Uh, varies a lot so i put capital letter here and that's a score of zero for the temperature 36.4 so that gives us a score of zero and our news total is zero so turning to the back of the news chart for a score of zero it means frequency of monitoring is minimum 12 hourly and will continue routine news monitoring so our frequency of monitoring is 12 hourly and escalation of care no but if there's any need we are going to escalate if there's any need at any point and for the initials, I put my initials as well. So the PHQ9 chart for the first column, that's one plus one, two. And then the second column, we have a score of six. The third, we have a score of nine. And um, all together, we have a total score of 17. Okay, so I'll be going back to Barry now. Hi, Barry. Hi. Uh, so I'm done with um, documenting on your chart. For your new start, you have a score of zero, which means we'll be monitoring your minimum 12 hourly. And um, we we'll just continue our routine uh, check on you. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So for the PHQ night chart, um, your score is a bit on the high side. We have a score of 17, but you don't have to worry. Um, we are in safe ends, okay? So for a score of 17, it means you have major depression, moderately severe and the treatment recommendation is antidepressant or psychotherapy so like i said earlier i'll be referring you to the psychotherapist and the mental health team for further plan of care and then you'll be placed on some antidepressant as well which are going to 
I'll be using for now. Is that okay? Yes. Please. All right. So, um, Barry, I'm going to be asking you some few more questions. Um, is there anything you want to tell me about your sexual life? I have nothing to tell you. Yes. Okay. And um, what are you religious? Um, no, no. Okay. Um. All right. No problem. So, um, Barry, I can see with your psychosocial, you live with your wife, and you have two children in the union. Oh, you must be a proud father. Well done, Barry. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can see that you suffered a back injury at work last year, and you've suffered depression since then because you struggled to go uh, get back to any kind of work, but it's been difficult. I know, Barry, and we talked about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> with your physical, um, do you have any problem? Problem mobilizing at all? Um, do you? No, no. Okay, that's good. So you can even manage with the back injury. Oh, that's good to know. Um, you told me that you um had a wee not quite long. Uh, do you have any other problem with your elimination at all? Uh, no, no. Oh, okay, that's good. And we talked about your appetite earlier. Okay, so small meals at frequent intervals. Okay. Um, all right, Barry. Is there any other thing that you like me to know of? Uh, no, no. All right. Thank you so much for your cooperation, Barry. So I'm going to believe you now but if you need anything you can always press the bolster but remember after you might have left okay uh do you have your gp number uh yes nurse. oh okay that's good you know so you can always ring your gp or you ring your nurse or if it's an emergency please do dial triple nine okay yeah. nine 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 okay all right so thank you so much once again barry and do take care of yourself okay yeah. i'm going to be uh, going now, so I perform my final hand hygiene following the seven step technique of the WHO for hand hygiene and I ensure I make my environment safe and clean for next year. So I put an ampoule of gel. All right, thank you so much for watching, and that is all for now. Just keep practicing and I wish you all the best in your exam. Bye for now.